What's up guys, it's Mo over at Ghostly Care Company and today I am back answering the top three clip-in hair extension questions that we get. And they are, will clip-ins damage my hair? Can I sleep in clip-ins? Do I need to remove them every day? And how many sets of clip-ins do I need? So if you ever had that question in your head, I'm gonna provide you with the answers today. So question number one, will clip-ins damage your hair? And the answer to that is no. Clip-ins are the safest, in my opinion, <laughs> the safest install method that you can have. Like your hair is not restrained or tied down. You're not committed to wearing extensions like permanently. The great thing about clip-ins is that you can put them in for your special occasion or for the day, and then you can remove them so you can allow your scalp and your hair to breathe. Um, the only thing that will cause damage when it comes to clip-ins, which takes us into our second question, can I sleep in them? Do I need to remove them every day? And the answer to that is I always, well, I always tell people, you can sleep in them one to two nights, you know, like maybe you have an event the next day. You just got your hair done. You put your clip-ins in. You don't really want to mess them up. You don't want to take them out, so you sleep in them. Sleeping in them one to two nights will not hurt. However, if you sleep in them consistently over time, it will cause breakage. And of course, we want your hair to remain healthy. So you should remove clip-ins at least every two days sleep without them, put them in the next morning. It's so easy to put them in. Like it should take you less than 10 minutes to reinstall them. So um, yeah, you should not sleep in, sleep in clip-ins if you can help it. And then our third question is how many sets of clip-ins do I need? So this will vary, right? It depends upon your starting point. And when I say your starting point, like what is your natural the length of your natural hair? What is the density like of your natural hair? Like the answer is always gonna be different for each person, just depending upon what your starting point is. And then the next thing that matters is like, okay, well, what are your desired results? Do you want it just to be a little bit fuller or do you want it like super full, super long? Um, and that will determine how many sets you may need. So what we normally tell people is we recommend one set if your natural hair is fine and you just want it to be thicker. We recommend two sets if you have like shoulder length or shorter hair, you'll need two sets because one set, you may be able to see that your hair is kind of like short and then it may, may look thin on the ends. We recommend two sets if you're doing the braid down method. I'm not sure if you follow us on Instagram or have watched some of our videos, but we do a braid down method where we braid all the hair down and we only leave out like the front and like the area where the part is. So it kind of resembles a braid pattern of a sew-in. However, we just clip the clips onto the net. So if you ever do that type of install, you'll need two sets of clip-ins. And then you will also need two sets if you opt to get lengths 20 inch or longer. We do suggest that you get two sets only because the longer the hair is, the weight ends up going into the length of the hair and it's just not as full as a 16 inch. So definitely longer hair, always go with two sets. All right, and then I'm gonna add in a bonus question and it is, are clip-ins right for me, like for my hair type? Most people will ask that. And the answer is clip-ins will work just about for anybody, right? The only time I do not recommend clip-ins for someone is if you have like thinning edges like alopecia or anything like that around the edges as well as in the crown. And I say that because you have to bring the clips somewhat close to the front and if your edges are thin or you have alopecia, that just may cause more tension and we don't want that you know, to cause any more breakage around the front. And then also a lot of, and not, not a lot, I've just seen it over the years, I, I've been doing this about over 20 years now, but some women do have thinning here in the crown and it's hard to, I guess, cover the track or camouflage the clip in if your hair is thin in the crown. So that is the only time I would not recommend 
that you wear clip-ins only because it will be hard to cover the track. But if your hair is full here, full throughout, clip-ins are generally safe. You just want to make sure that you select a clip-in texture that matches your texture. Like you don't want to have natural curly hair, but you picked silky straight clip-ins because it probably won't blend. Or if it's humid outside and your natural hair starts to swell, but you have this like silky straight weave, like it's just not gonna blend. So you definitely wanna make sure you're mindful when selecting clip-ins, that you're paying attention to the texture and picking something that really does you know, kind of like mimic your natural hair. That's super duper important. We do get a lot of people that um, ask why we don't sell like straight clip-in hair. And as you know, we sell four different textures um, and they all have some kind of texture to it, but none of them are like just like that silky bone straight look. Reason being why we don't sell it. Most of our target audience are our customers. They do look like me. So I think what has happened, over the years, and even when I was growing up, silky straight hair has been marketed to us, right? It's been marketed to us because it's convenient. It's already straight. You put it in, you know. However, it does not match our texture always. And then that is why you may be out in public. You start to sweat, your leave out poofs up. Now you got like an afro right here and you got silky straight hair. So <laughs> I think although straight hair has been marketed to us, it's not always for us. So it's super important to just, if you can, I know it's a little bit more work to straighten out textured hair extensions. It just blends a lot better and it looks way more natural and you'll appreciate it on the back end because the goal to it when you're wearing clip-in hair extensions is for it to look natural. And just to add like that little extra you know, pop of length or fullness, but you want people to believe that it's yours. So that is why I recommend that you select a texture that's close to yours. And that is why we don't sell straight extensions. All right, guys. So I hope I answer all your questions today. If you have a question or a comment, Anything that I did not address in this video, just drop it down in the comment section below so I can come back with more hair and beauty tips for you. Thank you so much for watching and make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. I'll see you next time.